The x-intercept of a line is the point at which the line crosses the x-axis. Similarly, the y-intercept of the line is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. So we're given this graph of an equation of a line. Let's determine the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept is the point where it crosses the x-axis. There is the x-intercept. And so the x-intercept, as an ordered pair, appears to be negative 4, 0, assuming a scale of 1 on each axis. The y-intercept is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis, and that appears to be at 0, 8. Remember that the intercepts are ordered pairs, and one of the coordinates is a 0. And in fact, every x-intercept has a y-coordinate of 0. And every y-intercept has an x-coordinate equal to 0. And that's important to rem remember, because we can use that fact to help us graph equations. So let's see some examples of that. Well, in general, to determine the x-intercept, let y equal 0 in the equation and solve for x. To determine the y-intercept, let x equal 0 in the equation and solve for y. So using intercepts to graph the equation, 5x minus 2y is negative 20. Let's find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we let y equal 0. So then I would have 5x minus 2 times 0 is negative 20. 5x minus 0 is negative 20. 5x is negative 20, which means that x is negative 4. I divided by 5 there, sorry. So if I put that all together, the x-intercept is negative 4, 0. y-intercept, we let x equal 0. 5 times 0 minus 2y is negative 20. 0 minus 2y is negative 20. Negative 2y is negative 20. Dividing through by negative 2, y is equal to 10. Putting that together, 0, 10. So now really, that's enough information to graph the line. We plot the point negative 4, 0, assuming a scale of 1's here. We plot the point 0, 10, and we draw the line through the points. Let's see another example. 3x minus 4y is equal to 12. To find the x-intercept, let y equal 0. 3x minus 4 times 0 is 12. All right, 4 times 0 is 0. 3x minus 0 is 3x. 3x equals 12. Divide through by 3, and x equals 4. So the x-intercept is 4, 0. And plotting that point. The y-intercept, letting x equals 0. 3 times 0 minus 4y is equal to 12. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 take away 4y is negative 4y equals 12. And dividing through by the negative 4, y equals negative 3. So negative 3, 0. Excuse me. 0, negative 3. x, comma, y. Drawing the line through the points. One more. Use the intercepts to graph y equals 1 half x minus 3. 
All right, let's find the x-intercept first. Letting y equal 0, we would have 0 equals 1 half of x minus 3. So I would add 3 to both sides, and 3 is equal to 1 half of x. All right, now to solve for x, I would divide by 1 half, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 half. So x, would that would mean 3 times 2, so x equals 6. Six zero. And the y-intercept, letting x equal 0, I would have y equals half of 0 minus 3. That's 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. So y equals negative 3. So we'd have 0, negative 3. Plotting the points, I have 6, 0, and 0, negative 3. Drawing the line through the points, And there we are.